Letter from a doctor here. Lately, I've been observing that young men are under extreme stress. Demand for antidepressants is growing rapidly. The world they're used to is collapsing around them. They're losing jobs, a calm and stable life. They don't know what to expect for tomorrow. I'm a doctor and clearly see that save for medication, we can't offer them anything at all. The treatments are no longer working. My question for you, dear Michael Lightman, is where can they find a foothold? Where can they go next? You see, about 100, 200 and more years ago, people were not so detached from their land. Here's my home, my parents, my village, town or whatever. Here's the girl nearby whom I will marry. My children will grow up here, and so on. In general, everything was clear, well-defined and simple, almost like an animal life. But it didn't bring as much uncertainty or insecurity about everything. Today, people are torn apart with questions about the universe, life, their own psychology and behavior. That's on the mental level. On psychological level, one feels that the whole world is in an unsettled state. Everybody goes through inner turmoil. Where, what, why, what for? Nothing is certain. This is the time that forces us to try to understand the overall picture of the world, its system. This didn't happen before. But today, yes, today we are going through it. And what are we to do? That's so true. Until we come to realize the whole picture of the world and understand it to the extent of connecting with it, comprehending it, perhaps even controlling it, at least to a certain degree, nothing will change. We might as well ignore it and fall asleep. Therefore, many escape into drugs and other such things. Subdued by antidepressants. Even subdued by work, when nothing else matters. There is my house, a store, my job. I go from work to the store, from the store back home. I eat, get back to the computer and do something. Go on vacation and so on. Yes, vacations are great. Happy is the person who finds a hobby, creates things on the computer or physically builds something. And that's all there is to it. Nothing else matters. People have nothing else left for them. It is truly an escape from the prison of our world. Is it some kind of antidepressant? Yes, yes. It is a natural antidepressant. It is used by many. Or else they fall into various obsessions. Some good, some bad. There's not much else to offer. Is it an escape, one way or the other? Everything is an escape. Absolutely everything. To the extent that people start stealing, killing, doing anything, sports gets used too. All is simply an escape. Escape? Yes, you name it. Great works of art. Anything. It is all an escape from the very same question. Why? If there is no answer, anything that people deemed important, it saves them. You said, then why? Why do I live? And why is all this happening? Yes, yes. Yes, we shouldn't ask. It's not good to ask this way. It'll ruin us completely. Right. Into full depression. It haunts us. It smacks us from behind all the time until we... Until we wake up? Until we wake up. Until we ask ourselves this question. This is what Balha Salam writes about in the preface to the book of the Zohar. This question haunts us all the time. Why? Yes. Yet we constantly run away from it. Chases us. Should we stop and face it? We must figure it out. Figure it out? It's not in vain that it arises in every person and doesn't allow him to do anything else. Either he forgets himself and gets involved in doing something else like tending to a hobby, or he must face this issue and resolve it. Will we ever dare to face it? In fact, you've already spoken about it, and now I'm scared to question. Why? What for? That is very good. In this case, every minute of life will be filled with a higher meaning. We'll do our best. <laughs>